Greetings, brothers and sisters. This is your girl, Smart Sister T, here with another installment on uh, my channel. And we are on month six. This is June, and the sixth principle of uh, Kwanzaa that I will be discussing in this video is Kaumba, which is creativity. Um, I guess the best thing that I could say about creativity is when it comes to black people, I don't think there's anybody ever that has been as creative as we have been with all that we've given to the world, with all the inventions, all the music, all the food, all the building of the pyramids, uh, everything that we have given to humanity has been some of the most creative um, things that we know as human beings. And I think it's high time that we as a people um, totally understand how gifted and how brilliant and how much genius that we have. And I think that is why uh, the world right now is in such chaos and is so busy trying to make us believe that uh, the opposite is true. And unfortunately, too many of us have fallen for that trick. But I also know that despite all that has been done, we still pop up, we still create, we still do things. And it's just, it's it's every kind of uh, creation from being creative in business, being creative. I mean, when you look at business, one of the largest corporate uh, mergers was done by a black man. Okay, most people don't even know it. Reginald uh, Lewis, I think was his name, but... Um, so it's not so much just being creative in terms of entertaining or, or art or whatever in our culture, but also just the everyday um, things of life. Um, we've been also uh, very creative. And I think that we need to do more to learn about that and then exercise our own creativity and our own personal lives. Let's face it, can't nobody be more creative than a black woman making a dollar out of 15 cents. All right. We already know. We are, like I said, creative in a whole lot of ways other than just art and um, <laughs> music and, and, and esoteric things like that, because that is um, just who we are as a people. I mean, you're creative in how you dress. You're creative in how you uh, wear your hair. You're, we're creative in just giving the world uh, a, a flavor, a juice that nobody else has. I mean, let's face it, here in the United States, uh, despite those that don't like hip hop or rap music or whatever, they use it to sell everything. Think about it. Our words, our phrases, our uh, style, our everything is copied by everybody all over the world. OK, I mean, look at Japanese folks and I have nothing against them, uh, but we know some of them can be some of the most racist people, but they love jazz. Same thing, Asian Chinese people. OK, they, those kids suck up hip hop like crazy. It's like everybody uses our genius. Everybody uses our juice to make money and get rich but us. Some of us do, but not enough. And we continue to come up with new things, new ways of doing stuff, uh, uh, mixing our cultures. Look at how we have taken our African roots and applied it to the various foods uh, according to the uh, area of the United States where we live. Think about what Black folks did in Boston, how they cook, all the way down to New Orleans with Cajun French, African, whatever, all the way to the West Coast and how uh, black folks create dishes and create food out here. So basically, uh, we take everything, our language, black English, so-called. It's not just speaking uh, English incorrectly. There is syntax and issues or, or areas that have African syntax that was applied to English. So it's not just b speaking incorrectly, because if that was the case, why do we say the same stuff? Uh, I be, you be, she be, 
And that's all over everywhere because that's what we were taught to conjugate that verb that way. So uh, that's all I'm saying is that people use this month to be creative and look at your own life. Look at how you can create things and manifest things because that's just it. We've always been able to uh, be blessed by the creator to, to creatively deal with whatever situation we've been put in. You know, and all you got to do is think about uh, the Sphinx and the pyramids standing there for thousands of years. Uh, why folks didn't build them? What have they built that has stood the test of time? And they got so mad they had to blow the nose off the damn thing. Okay, so take this month, like I said, to look at yourself and be creative on your own terms. Unfortunately, and I'll just take music, for instance, we are losing a lot of our, our creativity because of the, the, the auto tune and all this other bullshit that's getting us away from our real talent and our real gift. So quit chasing after stuff, doing uh, so what you think you're supposed to do to make you some money. That's that's not creativity. You got to come from the soul, come from the heart, and then the money will come after that. And that's how too many of us are selling ourselves um, short and how we are stunting our creativity. So I think that uh, there's no, there is no time but like now than to take the opportunity, as I said, to one, uh, look at all around you and see what all your people have created and, 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 and what you are also offering the world in through your own unique experience. And that is what is going to bring us together more and get us to work together and be together and love each other and create uh, an environment for our children and for our culture to thrive. That should be the ultimate goal of what we're doing. So that's it for this installment. Um, I will see you next time. And in the meantime, be creative. Uh, pass on this video. Subscribe. Let's do this, people. We can. We actually can create the world that we want. All right. Have a great week.